Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be going over a topic that isn't really talked about in like the KDP journey and across different KDP YouTube channels, yet it is still a very important factor when it comes to creating your books and creating this business as a whole. And well, I'm sure you guys have seen the title and that is the KDP trim sizes. So. This is going to be one you're going to want to stick around for. Now, if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr. Rosa. And before we get into anything, can I just ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button as it would be greatly, greatly appreciated and doesn't take you half a second to do. Now, I'm sure you guys, like I said, have all seen the title and well, today we're going to be going over the trim size and well, what sizes are best for your KDP book. Now what I mean by trim sizes is basically how big or how small your book is when it is printed, when it is created by Amazon. And there is many, many different trim sizes as we will go over in today's video. And well, we're gonna go over what is the best ones and what ones I'd recommend to, well, be creating your books and what ones will Amazon not allow? What are the maximum sizes? What are the minimum sizes that Amazon will allow for you? So. Let's not waste any more time and let's dive into it. So let's start off with an example. Now here's an example. It's just a coloring book for adults. I just searched up, this came up, Drinking Animals Coloring Book, a fun coloring gift book for party lovers and adults relaxation with stress relieving animal designs, quick and easy cocktail recipes. Now the book itself isn't important. Like it's just a basic. If we have a look inside, it should just be a basic coloring book. Yeah, it's just gonna be a basic coloring book. But we're here to have a look at the trim size. Now, if you just scroll down to here, as you can see, it says item dimensions 11.00 by 8.50 times 0 0.10. Now, the important ones that we're looking at is this 11.00 by 8.50. And now some publishers will put their trim size, their book size, in maybe the title for keyword relevancy or the description, have they put it in? Now this author doesn't seem to have put it in, but just using my Helium 10 plugin, I can see what the item dimensions are and you can see down here as well. And well, that is one book. And then like I said, well, you can add in the trim size in your title. I wouldn't recommend putting in your title, but you can put it in your title or your subtitle or your description. This person has put it in their subtitle. It says here, grid, paper, notebook, quad ruled, 100 sheets, large 8.5 by 11 inches. And yeah, they've also put it in the description as well. And let's move on to the third one, which is a just a basic, I just searched up, I think funny teacher notebook, and this book is six by nine inches. So as you can see, two that are 8.5 by 11, and one which is six by nine. Now, does that mean anything? Will that make a difference with sales? To be honest, it won't make a difference with sales. I don't think it'll make a massive difference with sales, but some people have a preference when it comes to books. Some people, people will prefer a slightly larger book, or some people will prefer that normal book size. And well, if you're looking for that just normal book size, that's the six by nine inches. However, if you're looking for like those slightly bigger books, that is the 8.5 by 11 inches. And well, books that come to my mind when I think of like the larger books, are those coloring books because obviously you want it slightly larger so it's easier to color in and you wouldn't normally see coloring books which have the size of six by nine inches so that's just something to take into consideration when you're creating your coloring book creating it to fit that 8.5 by 11 if that's a book size you're wanting to get into and now if you wanted to learn the different trim sizes that you can upload in well I've got something here for you guys. Now, all I just searched up was KDP Amazon trim sizes, and this was the first thing that popped up, and this is just the normal KDP Direct Publishing website, and here they give you a list of all the different trim sizes. Now, as you can see, there is a range of different sizes from smallest to largest, and well, we've got the main ones we looked at then, six by nine and 8.5 by 11, and then the smallest being five by eight. Now, you have got a few in the middle, like these 5.06 by 7.81, 
but really most of the time they're going to be all around that 5 by 8 and then you get the same thing here 6 by 9 and then a 6.14 by 9.21 and yeah so the ones that you're looking at are the ones where it's the whole number so the 5 by 8 6 by 9 the 7 by 10 the 8 by 10 and the 8.5 by 11. Now the most common ones I see when it comes to KDP are definitely that 6x9 on 8.5 by 11. I rarely ever see the 5x8s, the 7x10s, the 8x10s. It's just something that I've not regularly seen. I'm not saying there's no books out there that have that, it's just one I don't regularly see. And well, all the best selling books seem to be within that 6x9 and 8.5 by 11. But what does that mean for royalties? Now, Different trim sizes will contribute to the royalties. And to be honest, it makes a lot of sense because, well, if you've got a larger book, well, that's going to cost more money for Amazon to produce, to make, because they're making all these books in their Amazon warehouses. Well, if it's a larger book, it's going to cost more to make because you're using more paper, you're using larger paper and larger paper for the cover and that sort of thing. So, yes. If you're creating a larger book, well, the royalties that you receive when you get a sale on that book will be less. So if you're selling a book for $6.99, if you're creating a book that's 8.5 by 11 and it's $6.99, well, the royalties is going to be less than if you're creating a book for selling it for $6.99 when it's the trim size 5 by 8. So hopefully you guys can get your head around that. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense really because, well, it is going to cost more money for Amazon to create. So obviously they're just going to take that off your royalties. Same with if you're creating a color book or black and white book, the royalties you'll receive would be more if it's black and white over color. And then, yeah, as you can see on this trim size bit, it gives some other interesting things you've got to follow, such as, well, how many pages you can have, the maximum being 828 and the minimum being 24. And the same here for black ink and cream paper and the color ink and white paper. And yeah, if you have a scroll down, they have all sorts of different things to help you with print options and all that stuff. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below because well, some of you guys may want to go and check it out. It may be useful to you to have a look at some of this information because like I said, it's not really talked about within the KDP business but yeah it's a really important part in getting the right book and creating the right book for you. Now when it comes to trim sizes well obviously you've got to stay within those sizes so if you're creating a 5 by 8 inch book well you can't go any lower than that otherwise Amazon won't accept it and you can't go any larger than 8.5 by 11 you have to fit within these trim sizes that Amazon is providing for you. And well to make sure I'm doing that I use a website called Tangent Templates and I talk a lot about it and they have an option here, KDP Helper. And what you can do is you can select your trim size and they have all the different trim sizes that you can upload in here. And you can just pick your one. So if I'm creating an 8.5 by 11 inch book, enter the number of pages, 120, paper type white, interior bleed, we're gonna stick with no. Click continue and well, it will give all sorts of cover templates you can follow and drag that into like Canva, Adobe Illustrator. As you can see, it's got links to Canva here as well. And yeah, it's just, really a very useful thing to help you out to make sure you're staying within that template and it has one for the interior as well, which you can use. And yeah, it just makes the whole process a lot simpler. And let's talk a bit about my books. Now with my books, I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I've only created books that are six by nine inches. I haven't really touched many of the other sizes. Maybe it's something that I can look into, but really I haven't really created any coloring books and that sort of thing. And it's just not something I've touched into. I just stick with the basic six by nine inches. And I would recommend if you're just starting out with this and you're looking to create something like a funny quote book or something like that, definitely stick with that six by nine inches because well, it's just easy to work with. And it is definitely the most common, I would say over those 6 by 9 and 8.5 by 11. 6 by 9 is definitely the more common one because like I said, that's the basic book shape. But really, it's up to you and well, I hope you guys got something from this and yeah, I hope this can help you guys understand the different trim sizes. So just the main important things, make sure you stick within those sizes. Don't go any lower or any larger than those ranges that it gives you. And yeah, obviously the trim size of your book will affect the royalties when it comes to when you make a sale with your book. So 
Thank you guys for watching and if you did enjoy remember hit that like and subscribe button as it would be greatly greatly appreciated and well leave a comment down below if you want me to do more videos like this just tips that some of you guys may find useful if you're just starting out as a beginner with your KDP journey because I didn't know about this stuff when I first started out and it is something you have to learn and well I just thought I'd make a video to make it simple for you guys so yeah if you have any questions make sure you leave them down in the comments below and well I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.